Hi everyone. In this video, I just want to show you how you can turn a UPS backup unit into an inverter. Now, I have a few units here. They're actually found in the dump. People threw them out. Uh, usually what happens is the batteries go in them and then they, um, the battery is worth more than the unit, so they just throw it out. So what I've done is I have a 650 this one is a thousand and here's another 650 watt unit and this one here I've taken the battery out and you can see the battery here they're all bloated and they're no good now essentially what this unit is is an inverter and inside the cover off inside there's a transformer and here's the inverter part and how this thing works is the it's actually the power supply right here the transformer runs the inverter all the time so so the computer is actually or whatever you have plugged into your backup unit is actually running off of the inverter side so it's always running on inverter it doesn't just switch from 110 to to inverter so and then what happens is is when the power goes out this transformer shuts down and then it switches directly over to battery which these wires were connected to the battery so what I've done is I've disconnected the battery and I have a negative and a positive wire here and all I've done is then hooked in some old jumper cables and this one here has ends on it and this one is just connected directly to the battery. Make sure when you put your jumper cables on that you you put the negative terminal or cable onto the proper wire so you can see the strip, the black strip running down the wire. So that one's negative so you don't screw that up when you go to connect it. Um, you can wrap some black tape around the negative and you can wrap some red tape around the positive wire. So essentially what I have here is I've replaced the original battery with a car battery. This one's a 12 volt unit, this one's a 24 volt. So you'd have to have two batteries in series to run this unit. Now, what I'll do is, I'll, the unit's plugged in right now, so I'll unplug it. Well, first of all, I wanna show you that it can actually turn on this bench top grinder, but it doesn't, it, uh, puts a lot of load on it, so you can see it, but it will power that. So now what I'm going to do is unplug the 110, and then it's just running on the car battery now, and now I'm going to switch this back on. just running off the car battery now. How to turn on the backup unit without having a 110 power source. It's just connected to the battery and the unit's unplugged so I want to just turn it on without having any 110 power. So I'm just gonna press the button and hold it and there we go. And to shut it off um, I'm not sure if the units are all the same, but I think if you press it once or twice, ah, there, and now it's on. So how you would convert this is you would attach your jumper cables, your positive red wire to this one. You'd strip this back. You could use a blade plug if you want, and then connect it, put a crimp end onto a pair of jumper cables. Um, heavier the better. The ones I'm using are six gauge, and they seem to work okay. So you can get some crimp ends, or you can just get a junction and just cut this right off and crimp it onto the jumper cables direct. And all I did was run the, I can flip this thing over, all I've done is run the jumper cables out of the bottom. I've just 
put the screws loose so it holds the wire in place. And there you go. Take a look at the back. You get a couple plugs. and So you can find these things probably in the your local dump or in the garbage on the side of the road. Because like I said, no one wants to replace these batteries. They're worth as much as the units. So, But instead of throwing this thing out, you can then use this to power a shed or power something where you don't have 110. And you can set up some car batteries and a solar panel. And away you go. Well, thank you for watching.